St. John chapter 10, verses 22 through verse 30. And hear the significance of these words as I read them. St. John chapter 10, verses 22 through verse 30. And it was at Jerusalem the feast of the dedication. And it was winter, and Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Yeah. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long do thou make us to doubt? If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, I told you. and you believe not. Mm. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. Yes. But you believe not, mm. because you are not of my sheep. Mm. As I said unto you. Verse 27 says, My sheep hear my voice. Yes. Not only that, but I know them, mm. and they follow me. Mm. Verse 28 says, And I give unto them eternal life. Jesus. And they shall never perish. Jesus. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all my God. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Verse 30 says, I and my Father I want. Lord God, bless your word today, Lord God. Yes, Jesus. Lord God, bless the hearer, Lord God. Yes, Lord God, most of all, the doer of your word. Amen. Open up our hearts, our minds, and our understanding mm -hmm. that we may hear and receive your word gladly. Lord God, so that all that we say and do will glorify you in every way. Yes. In Jesus' name Jesus we pray. Name. Amen. 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 You may have your seats. <laughs> I would like to use for a subject briefly today, whose sheep uh -oh. are you? <laughs> whose sheep are you? Come on. I want you to know that the Lord is my sheep. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Whose sheep oh, yeah. are you? We find in our text today another division among the Jews concerning Jesus. Mm -hmm. And whether or not he is the Christ or simply God himself. Right. Verse 19 then speaks openly about previous divisions. It said there was a division therefore again among the Jews. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory to God. Dissension. Amen. As we were teaching in Bible class this morning, there was division among them. And this particular division resulted from Jesus' explanation of the parable of the good shepherd and the fact that no man could take his life. Isn't that good news? That's good news. As a result of the parable of the good shepherd, Many of them said that Jesus was a devil and that he was completely mad. Isn't that something? They say, why should we hear him? They cried. Yet other Jews disagreed. A man saying that his words were not as one who has a devil. Uh -huh. In fact, the question was asked, can a devil open the eye? 
of the blind. <laughs> My God, somebody in the bunch has some sense. Come on. They have some reason and power. Yes. How can he be the devil if he's going to take the time, uh, amen, to do something good like open the eyes right of, of the blind? Why would he do such a good thing? Uh -huh. Are we just unsure about this man uh, mm -hmm. at all? And all that I get in the Bible says to get and understand. And isn't that right? That's right? Amen. And so in verse 24, the Jews came again, and this time they asked Christ uh, how long he was going to make them that. Mm. Mm. If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. Tell us openly, man, speak frankly and without concealment. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, make it plain. Don't keep us in doubt. And Jesus answered and said, I told you and you believe me not. Amen. Why? Because you are not my sheep. Come on now. Oh, I'm us. Amen. The same way today. Amen. Jesus isn't causing us to doubt him. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Amen. It is because of our own stubborn will uh, and disbelief that causes us to doubt him. That's right. Uh, that causes us to disbelieve yes. him. Uh, yes. That causes us, amen, to believe uh, whether or not he can actually deliver us uh, out of our situation. Now, I believe that if we believe it, uh, amen, there won't be so much grumbling, mumbling, and complaint. complaint. Come on, Bishop. Yeah. Oh, I feel called in here. Uh, oh, yes, again, it's because of our own stubborn will uh, yes, sir. and our own disbelief that causes us to doubt him. Uh, yes. Remember now, on one occasion, amen, there was time when Jesus could perform miracles like he could uh, because of the people's unbelief. Uh, yes. And that makes me to know we can become our own hindrance yes. uh, through unbelief. Can I get a witness to you? And so in verse 27, Jesus gave three distinct attributes uh, concerning He'll sheep. Uh, somebody say, he'll sheep. Uh, sheep. Amen. And if you are not sure, if you are his, uh, then listen to this, and perhaps you two can get some clarification. Uh, first of all, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. Oh, yeah, my sheep hear my voice. Yes. Uh, and this is true because there are others uh, who are not up this fool. Uh, yes. Isn't that right? We yes. are all sheep, but many of us uh, have gone okay. astray. Isn't that right? That's right. Amen. Yes. That's why the, 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 the way that leads to destruction is very broad yes. Uh, yes. as compared to the road, amen, that leads into eternal life. Uh, amen. So many of us have gone astray, but Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. My voice. Uh, amen. I start by to tell you that we all look alike and have been made in his image. Isn't that right? Yes. But we don't all belong to him uh, because of our behavior and our conduct. My God, my God, there are things we should be doing uh, as well as things that we should not be doing. Be doing. Can I get a witness? Uh, yes, my friend, we are all his sheep. Uh, we are all his creation. Uh, but there is a definite qualifying difference, uh, amen, between his sheep and that of another. <laughs> Yeah, we all sheep. That means we're going to follow somebody. somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to follow somebody. But there's, again, a distinct difference uh, between Jesus' sheep uh, and that of another. We'll get to that in a minute. Bring Secondly, Bring Bring Jesus said, not only do my sheep hear my voice, yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, but I know them. Yes, yes. Yeah, he, he said, I know them. Yeah. Uh, ain't no sense in getting confused. Jesus said, I know you. If you are mine. 
Uh, amen. So this is vitally important because Jesus uh, comes for his saints. When he comes for his saints, uh, although we all may look alike in human form, uh, amen, only those <laughs> whom he knows uh, will be called up Wait, to meet him. Come on now. Can I get a witness? Amen. Oh, uh, yes, somebody is going to be left behind uh, because they were not following Jesus. Uh, uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, amen. Those of us who have been sealed uh, unto the day of redemption, uh, according to Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 30. Can I make it live for you? Amen. Glory to God. Uh, amen. During that day, during that time, uh, amen, travelers would come through the land. Uh, and when they passed through the land, they would stop in the marketplace uh, and they would purchase certain items. Yes. Uh, and when they purchased those items, uh, because it was not convenient for them to carry the item with them, uh, they would leave their seal upon their purchase. Uh, and so during their return, uh, they would stop and claim it uh, and be on their way. Uh, uh, can you see Jesus in this? Uh, he left heaven throne uh, and came to earth uh, and he made a purchase uh, of you and I. Uh, uh, and then he set his seal upon us uh, which is the Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, and then he left. Uh, yes. He left because he's coming back again. Uh, and when he comes back again, uh, he's looking for the seal. Uh, my God, I feel God in here. Uh, he's looking for the seal yes. of the Holy Ghost. Oh, uh, uh, yes, when he comes back to pick up those who are here. Uh, I'm talking about the rapture now. Yes, uh, when he comes to pick up some, yes, uh, yes. amen, he's looking for the seal. Mm -hmm. uh, and if the seal is not there, uh, my God, we don't belong to him. Uh, and how dare him to take that which belongs uh, to another. Uh, he's coming back for his own. Can I get a witness? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, we who have been sealed uh, unto the day of redemption. Uh, when he comes, uh, the Bible said there will be two, amen, at the water fountain. Uh, there will be two in the bed, two, amen, glory to God, riding in the car. Uh, amen, two at the picnic. Uh, amen, I stop by to tell you, I don't care. Uh, amen. It doesn't matter how we are populated. Uh, amen. When he comes, uh, whether we're 20 in a bunch or 10 in a bunch, uh, amen. It just doesn't matter. Uh, amen. Whether we're few or many. Why? Because Jesus knows uh, his own. Can I get a witness? Uh, oh, bless his name. Uh, and that is Jesus knows. Uh, his own because he says uh, not only do they hear my voice yes, uh, yes. amen not only do I know them uh -huh. uh, amen but they follow me <laughs> my God my God they follow me yes. uh, and so this then is the unquestionable qualifying uh, difference oh uh, uh, yeah because another they will not Follow. Uh, yes, can I get a witness in here? Yes, uh, they will not do the devil's bidding. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, amen. Glory to God. Oh, uh, uh, that book will sit on your shoulder and whisper in your ear. Uh, oh, my God, you'll slap him off uh, and say, Get thee behind me. Uh, my God, I'm one of him. Yes, uh, I ain't got time for your shenanigans. Uh, my God, I ain't got time to follow you. Uh, uh, you a liar, the truth is yes. not in you. Uh, in fact, you're the father of lies. Yes. Uh, uh, so I can't do your bidding. Uh, on, oh my God, I can't lend my flesh Come to you. On, uh, oh my God, my God, I don't know who I'm preaching to. Uh, amen, those of you in here out there, amen on the internet. Uh, I just can't lend and give over my mind and my emotions to you. I, I got to remain free and unhindered. My God, I got to be able to follow 
my God, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Amen. They will not do the devil's business. No. Amen. I don't have the time to give an analogy of the sheep. Amen. But I can tell you this, that they trust their shepherd. Is that right? That's right? And they will not follow another. Good God Almighty. Oh, that's why we are called sheep. Because we're going to follow somebody. somebody. Isn't that right? Yeah, right? Amen. Even in real life. Yes. Uh, a sheep knows his shepherd. That's right. uh, he yeah. can come and call him out by name. Yeah. Uh, and another, they will yeah. not follow him. Uh, my God, my God. And so it is with Christ Jesus. Uh, if we are your sheep, uh -huh. uh, we will hear his voice. Yes. Uh, and when he calls, because he knows us, yes. uh, we will follow. follow him. Anybody know what I'm talking yeah. about? My God, and by doing so, Jesus says uh, in verse 28 uh, that I give them eternal life uh, and they shall never perish. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, you know, when you've got eternal life, you can't die. Come on. Uh, isn't that right? Oh, right. uh, yeah, death and hell is the second death. Uh, uh, but when you're with Christ Jesus, you live. For, for y'all, isn't that right? Amen. He goes on to say in verse 28, neither shall any man mm. take by force or pluck them out of my hand. Don't you know that if you want to stay, you can stay. My God, if you want to jump ship, you can jump ship. Oh, but if you want to stay, ain't nobody going to take you away. Can I get a witness in here? So then we must ask ourselves, uh, how do we secure this position uh, in Christ Jesus uh, uh, so that no man would be able to pluck us out of his hand? Uh, how is it maintained? Uh, what are the requirements? Uh, amen. And can we meet those requirements? Uh, well, I start by to tell you, my friend, uh, that we certainly can. Uh, can we? Can I get a witness in here? Uh, we can meet those requirements if we want to. Uh, my God, but keep in mind, amen, we are free moral agents. Uh, uh, God gave us of our own free will. Uh, I can imagine why, because why would he want robots? Uh, my God, my God, he wants folks, uh, amen, who can praise him freely. Uh, he wants folks uh, who can offer thanksgiving freely. Uh, he wants folks uh, uh, who would be grateful uh, for all that he's done. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, oh, my friend, let me tell you this and get out your hair. Uh, amen. There are three things that we must do uh, and continue in uh, to receive eternal life. Uh, uh, can I share them with you? Uh, and I'll be at your hair. Uh, amen. First of all, we must believe. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, we must believe. Uh, oh, but I got news for you. Uh, this implies complete and continual obedience. Uh, mm -hmm. Then we'll start on Monday, stop on Tuesday, and see if you can trip up on it on Wednesday uh, before church service, uh, and then fall out Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and hope you can get back up in here right come Sunday morning. Uh, it requires complete and continual obedience. Uh, Am I right about it? Right, right. And so this is why we are admonished uh, to mark a mimic the mature man. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, the Bible says perfect man, but I don't want to scare you. Uh, because the Greek says the mature man. Isn't that right? Uh, my God, my God, because some of us use the excuses. Uh, ain't nobody perfect. Uh, amen. When it comes to wealth addition, we're not. Uh, amen. And God knows we're still developing. Uh, but at some point, we got to be a mature person. Yes, uh, we got to be able to say no to that's sin. Uh, we got to be able to say no, that's not right. That's uh, my God, we got to be able to say you're going down the wrong road. Uh, you should be coming down this road. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, and so when you see the mature man, the Bible said, mimic him and mark him. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, oh, my God, my God. Things that we think we can't do. Uh, well, righteousness is concerned. Uh, the Bible said mimic the ones who are doing it. The right thing, yes. 
my God, my God. Because if they're doing it, guess what? You can do it. Give the Lord some praise. I mean, we are to that. Ah, oh, yes, my friend. And so if we are doing things, listen to me now, if we are doing things oh, that we are ashamed of, amen, things that we would not promote, or lurking in the darkness with evil, then we aren't believers. Oh, yes, my Bible says we are not believers. Can I get a witness? Amen. Secondly, after believing, we must hear his voice. Yes. Isn't that right? right? And he says, and be not hearers only, but also doers of his word. Uh, can I call on James chapter 1? Amen. Verses 22 through Amen 25. Amen. And this says, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Uh, amen. Because if you are a hero only, uh, you deceive your own self. Uh, isn't that right? right. Uh, for if any be a hero of the word uh, and not a doer, uh, amen, he likened to a man beholding his natural face in a glass. Uh, uh -huh, for he beholdeth himself. Uh, mm -hmm. He stands there uh, and he sees the ugliness. Uh, uh, she stands there uh, and she sees the blemishes. Yeah. Uh, can I get a witness? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, we are free people. We stand in the mirror. Uh, <laughs> amen. And we see exactly who we look like. Yes, uh, uh, but James said, after being there for a while, uh, <laughs> amen, and then we leave. Uh, we forget, amen, uh, when we go our way, uh, what man of man we were. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, but he said, whoso looketh into. Uh, in other words, the Greek says to be curious about. Uh, oh, yes, it means to stoop under and take a better look. Uh, uh, you've got to be curious. Uh, about the word of God uh, because it is our mirror uh, isn't it right uh, and when we look in the word of God uh, we're looking to see our blemishes uh, we're looking to see our ugliness uh, we're looking to see that hair out of place uh, can I get a witness up in here uh, we're looking to see uh, if our eyelashes are like the altar uh, can I get a witness in here uh, we're looking to see if our skin Mm -hmm. uh, is as good as it can be. Uh, can I get a witness? Are mm -hmm. uh, oh, we looking to see if our life uh, is lining up with yes. the word of God? Yes. Uh, James, uh, we got to be curious about this yes. thing. Uh, we can't be superficial. Uh, right. We can't read it on the surface. Uh, mm -hmm. We got to get into this thing uh, like any lawyer would. Uh, so he then looking into the perfect law of liberty uh, and continue therein. Yeah. Uh, he be not a forgetful hero, uh, but a doer of the work. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, and he said, it is this man. Uh, look at your name and say, it is this man. Uh, oh yeah, it is this man uh, uh, who shall be blessed uh, in his deeds. Uh, everything that he does, uh, it will be blessed. Uh, everything he lays his hands to, uh, it will be blessed. Uh, can I get a witness to you? Uh, oh, my God. Uh, and so on Sunday, uh, amen, the church becomes our mirror. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, we are being taught and preached the word. Isn't that right? Uh, and then the word takes time to reveal who we are. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, and then when church is over, uh, we leave and forget uh, what matter of person uh, uh, that we are. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, and then we go back uh, to doing the same thing. Same thing, Bishop. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Same, Bishop. Yeah. Lord, help us. Yeah. Woo! I don't understand it. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, it's just like you saying, uh, I'm going to get up Sunday morning uh, and I'm going to go to church to see who I look like. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, oh, but when church opens, 
Lord. When I turn my back to the mirror, I'm going to forget who I was. And I'm going to go back to doing what I was doing. And people wonder why they're not blessed. People wonder why they're not liberated. They wonder why they are oppressed. This is the perfect law of liberty. If anything can make you free, uh, it is the word of God. Yes. But the Bible says you shall know the truth, uh, and the truth shall merit. My, my, my God. Uh, yeah, God, my on, God. Uh, oh, yes, oh, yes. We forget, we forget, we soon forget uh, what matter of person uh, we are. Uh, amen. And thirdly, before I get out of here, uh, amen, after believing and hearing this voice, uh, the Bible says we must follow Christ. Uh, isn't that right? Not only at the beginning of our Christian walk, but we got to follow him daily and throughout life. Isn't that right? Job did it. And what was Job's results? The Bible said God built a head. Shut up around him. Yes. <laughs> my God, my God. Because Job ensured evil. Wouldn't have anything to do with unrighteousness. In fact, he expended himself to the point that when he did make sacrifices, he would think about his children. Yes. And just in case they messed up. Uh, somewhere down the road uh, he would make a sacrifice uh, just for them uh, my God my God uh, are you willing uh, to make a sacrifice yes. uh, not only for yourself uh, but for your children mm. uh, but Job was an upright man uh, and so the devil realized uh, and spoke the truth to God Yes. And said, you done built a hedge up around him. I, I can't touch him. I, I can't get my hands on him. Ah, oh, who sheep are you? My God, and so it is with our lives. So make so that in verse 29 of St. John, amen, it said that God is greater than all. Yes. Isn't that right? Greater than all united forces of men. He's greater than all fallen angels. He's greater than all demons and all enemies. Can I get a witness? And he can and will keep you if you want to be kept. That's the key right there, my friend. If you want to be kept, God will keep you. Isn't that right? No demon out of hell can switch out of the hands of God. Oh my God, my God. Oh, no evil dealings of man can block you out of hell. Can I get a witness? Oh yes, oh yes. Our lives have to be here with Christ and God. My God, not only will they pluck them out of Jesus and he said they can't even pluck them. Uh, out of my father's hand. Wow. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, right? And if we live for him, uh, uh, no man is able, no man is able uh, uh, to pluck us out of his hand. Why? Because our life is hid uh, with God in Christ. Come on, give him some yes. praise. Uh, come on, give him some praise. Uh, those are victories. Words. Those are words of victory. My God, my God. Our life is here. We're God in My God, that's why I don't worry. That's why I don't sweat. That's why I'm not anxious. That's why I'm not easily saved. I'm not easily disturbed. Because I know God. Here's my God. Yes. My God, my God, all I got to do, Elder, is keep looking to the hills from which coming my help. My help coming from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Oh, my God, I feel a praise in here. Yes. Amen. Glory to God to claim eternal life. Oh, when we do not follow Jesus, it's like these Jews claiming to know God. Yes. And have eternal life. Yes. Oh my God, Jesus declared such was not true, nor can it be. Amen. So I admonish you today let your behavior, let your conduct, yes. Yes. let your deportment yes. 
question, amen, answer the question of itself. Uh, who she uh, are you? Uh, my God, my God. Uh, every day of waking in the night, every day you get up, son. Every day you see the breaking of a new day. Uh, amen. You should declare uh, that the Lord is your shepherd. Yes, uh, and another uh, you will yeah. not follow. Uh, my God, the Lord is your shepherd. You got to declare it when you wake up. Yes, oh yeah, when you see the breaking of a new day, you got to declare it. Yes. The Lord is my shepherd. And another I will, will not, follow. not follow. Stand to your feet. Uh, praise yeah. God. Praise Jesus. God. <laughs> my God, my God. Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord God, we love you. We appreciate you. Yes. Lord God, we thank you for your word. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word, Lord. Yes. Help us to realize, without a doubt, yes. that you are our shepherd. Yes, Lord. And that we should not and we will not follow another. Yes. Because if we follow you, Lord God, we realize we will have eternal life. Yes. In, the in the name of Jesus. Those who are watching and listening, mm. if they are not saved, mm. trouble them right now. Jesus. Trouble them, Lord God. Right now, Lord. Show them the path that they have been traveling. Yes. Show them that it's not your path. Mm. Lord God, turn them around. Turn them around In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Cause them to cry out, what must I do? To be saved. Yes, Lord. Lord, save them. Save them, Lord. And cleanse them. Yes, Lord. And fill them with your Holy Spirit. Fill them, Lord. Fill them. And then use them. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Name Those Jesus. who know you, God. Mm. Have they have strayed? Mm. Have they have been teetering? Jesus. Straddling the fence. Mm. Recommitting them, Lord God, a strong commitment, a renewed Jesus. commitment. Make them know that they need to be hot or cold in the name of Jesus. You prefer them to be hot. But if they're cold, Lord God, you can restore. Yes, Lord. It's the lukewarm person that you will spew out of your mouth. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, help us. We need you. Help us. Lead us and guide us. In the way that you would have us to go. Help us to hear you and to follow you. And not another one. We realize that the devil means us no good. Mm, no good. And that you teach us and admonish us not to be ignorant, concerned, and his devices. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Help us to know your voice from his voice. Yes. My God, my God, by, by your word, God. Yes. Through your word, help us to serve and know what is good and that which is bad. Mm. Lord, we're living in perilous times. Yes, Lord. Your will is being done. We pray that your will be done. Will be done yes. Lord, we need your help. Yes, Lord. We need to know. We want to know. Yes. That you are the Christ. My God, my Lord. Without a doubt in our mind. Because it is you whom we will follow. Yes. And not another. Not another. Because you are our shepherd. Yes. Oh, God, help us, Lord, as we continue to give you the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen.